There used to be a time when the apothecary stood squarely at the center of health care in this country, prescribing, formulating, dispensing. Take, for example, the Stabler Ledbetter shop in Alexandria, Virginia. Mrs. Washington desires Mr. Stabler will send by bearer a quart of his best castor oil and the bill for it. Mount Vernon, April 22, 1809. Mr. Stabler recorded the transaction and sent the medicine and the bill. It all got done in due time, without pressure and without hurry. After all, those were simpler times. Things have changed over the years. Better health care, growing populations, greater demands have all forced the changes. Manufacturing is now an assembly line process, automated fast, high volume. The changes and the pressures show up all down the line and become stronger, more insistent at the retail level. The modern day apothecary has jars and bottles too. And this one has something else, its own computer, an IBM Series 1. This is Royer's Pharmacy in Ephrata, Pennsylvania. Volume, more than 300 prescriptions a day. Partners Tom Franz and Bill Sherman have found that the computer is the one way they can keep up with all this. The complexity, the pressures, the demands. Comment on this new approach comes from Judith Lauer King, pharmacy consultant and educator. The profession of pharmacy is changing. A pharmacist filling 60 or more prescriptions a day is finding it, finding it increasingly difficult to maintain a good profitable business and a good professional practice at the same time. We're finding that the standards are increasing in our profession as well. We have to maintain patient profiles, we have to provide more services to our patients, we have to fill out more logs, more records, even with filling more prescriptions, more typing more labels, filling more third-party claim forms. It's becoming increasingly difficult to keep up with all of this. The computer is the ideal solution. It can perform a number of these clerical tasks for us. Well, if that's the case, why haven't they been considered before? The problem was cost. They were too expensive for the retail pharmacist to consider. That's no longer true. A computer is now affordable and can even be profitable for a retail pharmacist, particularly when you consider the increasing costs of personnel. Computers can save time, they can save space, and they can save money and they are definitely a powerful tool that we must consider seriously in pharmacy practice. This tool is being considered more and more. Drop in on the Scottsville Prescription Center in Scottsville, Kentucky. You'll find owner Larry Stovall behind the counter, dispensing medicine and concern for his customers. Okay, we'll sure do. We'll send it out about three o'clock. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, Marcy, how are you? Fine, how are you? Just fine. What for you? Got two bottles I need to fill. Oh, well, righty. It'll be just a few minutes. Okay. Is your mother doing okay? Yeah, pretty he good. He does both so things better because yeah. of the Series 1. Well, it, you know, it takes a little while to get over it. Is, uh, did your brother get the computer? Stovall uses the computer to handle all information functions, recall of patient profile and prescription data, inventory control, pricing changes. The fact that all this is made easier is not lost on Stovall, but his larger concerns have to do with service and productivity about, uh, well, since he first started school, I guess. It's been a long time. Well, I'm, I'm anxious for summer. I'd like for him to stop by and see me sometime when he comes in. I'm sure he will. Good. Okay, thank you, Marcy. I appreciate it. You come back. Thank you. You tell your mother hello for me. Okay, I sure will. You can see that I just refilled two prescriptions in just a few moments. Before I had the computer, it would have taken a considerably longer length of time to do that. The reason for this is because the computer now does all the clerical work that I normally have, would have to do in the past, such as logging the prescription and keeping, keeping up with the records for third parties. Let me show you what is involved when I refill a prescription or fill a prescription. First, all I do is key in the prescription number that's on the bottle. I immediately have the prescription before me, and I'm able to tell information about the patient. Also, I'm able to hit a key 
and look at all the drugs that that particular patient is on at this time. I can also tell the last date the prescription was filled, and I can also see if the prescription is too soon, if they, they brought it back for a refill too soon. To print the label for the prescription, I merely hit a key. The computer is automatically going to print a label for me. I also have a receipt for the patient, a charge ticket, and it's also going to print some patient counseling information for the patient for that particular drug. I talked with a colleague of mine a couple of weeks ago. In his operation, he has 1,300 square feet. I have 1,300 square feet. We each fill a little over 200 prescriptions a day. We each have sales of 500,000 a year. We each service 160 nursing home beds. My colleague has 14 employees, and I have three. The difference is simply the computer. Another big difference is instant access to patient and drug information. The result is better patient counseling. See the computer back there? That helps him fill the prescription. It makes it a lot faster. It's a good, safe way to do it. Mrs. Peters, how are you today? Oh, except for Tim's cold, we're fine. Timmy, how are you? Well, not too good. Well, not too good. What's the matter with you? I have a cold. You have a cold. Well, these will make you better. Okay, now, the doctor's prescribed tetracycline syrup. Okay. There are a few contraindications there. Don't take any milk. Or milk products while the computer provides information on all medicines in stock and indicates possible reactions and pinpoints drug interactions. Now this information is available immediately for the pharmacist and the customer. Okay, get started on it and maybe you can go to school tomorrow. What do you think about that, Timmy? What does it taste like? Oh, it tastes good. What's your favorite soft drink? Mm, root beer. It tastes just like root beer. He'll like that. No, it really tastes good. The Series 1, backed up with unexcelled service, provides instant access to patient profiles, prescription files, pricing information. It does all that and much more. Among other things, it provides fast relief for one of the pharmacist's biggest headaches, third-party billing. An example of that in my operation is that of nursing homes. Well, last Saturday night, I did not only nursing home billings, but all third-party billings for my store, and it took 10 minutes to prepare them. The pharmacist no longer needs to be a clerk or a typist. Tom Franz is quick to point out the value of that. Without the computer, with third-party paperwork being what it is today and getting bigger, our old system would have been in real jeopardy. His partner, Bill Sherman, agrees. Probably in our case, we didn't get the third party forms filled in and mailed in in time. And as a result, we had a tremendous backlog of uh, accounts receivable from the state or from insurance carriers. With the Series 1 computer, we get these reports mailed in every two weeks. And as a result, our cash flow problem has, in, has uh, decreased considerably. Uh, this is going to be the salvation of pharmacy. That's well, going to be the answer. With the computer, it's now possible for me to run a more profitable and professional business. One area that involves this is that of medical expense summaries. In the past, I've offered medical expense summaries to my patients, but we've prepared them by hand. Last year, we did over 2,000 insurance statements by hand, and it took one employee all the time. She was busy all the time doing it. Now the computer does it for me, and I run them every three months. When the computer does it, it prints approximately 5,100 medical expense summaries at a time, and it takes approximately eight hours, and it's done while I'm at home. Another area is that of inventory control. At any time, I'm able to tell on any medication how many I'm using, the usage of it, and with that, I'm able to control my turns per year. For example, last year, I did sales of $350,000 in the prescription department on an inventory of $26,000. That's approximately 10 turns per year. Also, most pharmacy operations have a net profit figure of about 3%. Mine is over 16%, and that more than speaks for itself. The business of pharmacy has changed, no doubt about that. Now, Series 1 is helping pharmacists deal with those changes and with the pressures and in the process, they're giving better service, improving their productivity, and increasing their profits. And all because of their own computer. Mrs. Washington of Mount Vernon would have been very impressed. <laughs>